Tulomer filament, heat it or love it, but can we love it more on higher temperatures? Welcome to my tech farm. Maybe you will have a deja vu feeling, Tulomer filament testing again. I did a review video of this filament few months ago and I was amazed with the strength in X and Y direction, but I was quite disappointed with the strength along the Z axis. And I know that um, other YouTubers, uh, my colleagues also got this filament for the testing and I'm still waiting their videos. I hope they will publish it sooner or later because I'm very curious about it. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. In the meantime, Pavel from Cherry Public contacted me. He wants to test this filament too. He's the guy who already did some printings for me, those high temperature 3D X tech filaments. And I sent him 200 grams from this filament. That's approximately $100 value. And he has the access to the Prusa Pro HT90 CD printer. By default, it is equipment with 0.6 mm nozzle. And his uh, settings, 325 degrees Celsius on the nozzle, 155 degrees Celsius on the bed with a huge brim and a lot of glue stick on it. Chamber temperature, 90 degrees Celsius. And after the printing, he did the annealing, and this time uh, properly in the forming sand used for the metal casting. And he did it on 220 degrees Celsius for seven hours. And he sent me those test objects. We all did this for free, basically. This is not a sponsor video. Well, actually my whole channel is sponsored by the Polymaker, but this testing is independent from this. And these are those typical test objects I'm using in my review videos. Temperature tests don't make too much sense because I reached the maximum temperature of my equipment and they will still be hard. And for the creep test, uh, instead of the typical creep test, I will just uh, pull it until it breaks and I will compare it with some very strong other materials. By the way, maybe you can see that the printing is quite ugly because uh, by default the Prusa HT90 has 0.6 mm nozzle. But I don't really care about the looks, mostly I'm curious about the layer adhesion. And now let's try to break this uh, C-test object. It is so strong that I basically I cannot even pull it with my hand. And I will compare it with the regular PTG. This is the strongest ABS I tested so far. Reinforced with carbon fibers, the core version. And this is uh, PHTCF by Bamboo Lab based on uh, PA12 nylon. Let's start with PTG, just for reference. The start deformation is from the weight of the pulling arm. PHTCF. ABSCF core. And now to Lomer. Almost no deformation under weight of this testing arm. Pity it could be seen much bigger loads if the adhesion between the valves would be just a little bit better. Tensile test with horizontal printed objects. Extremely strong values. Layer adhesion with vertically printed parts. Breaks under weight of testing arm. Shear test horizontally printed, and I'm expecting bigger load here, so that's why I'm using this stronger crane scale. And again, fantastic strength in X and Y direction. Shear test vertically printed object, as expected because of the weaker layer adhesion. In the review video, I was using this DIY impact tester and the test object did not break. So in this video, I will use uh, this one which can measure up to 5.5 joules of breaking energy. And the reason why it is on the floor, because this machine took its place. And also I'm preparing this new digital impact tester. Well, definitely one of the toughest materials I tested so far even with this delamination between the layers. For the bending test I will use this unit which follows better the ISO standard. Distance between supports is 64 mm and I will place 5 kg load and I will measure the deformation after exactly 30 seconds. This object has some warping already but I will start with zeroing of this uh, dial indicator. I'm placing the load now and in a corner you can see the average values for the ASC and PLA and after 30 seconds 0.35 millimeters. 
less scientific approach, but let's see if I can break it with my arms. These are from my earlier testings, PTG, PCTG, and um, ABS maybe, I'm not sure. PCTG. PTG. ABS. Almost. You can see this white color typical for the ABS like materials. And now Tulomer. Hmm. I cannot even start with bending. I cannot do it. <laughs> not too scientific approach, but I think you get the point. The failure is not an option. I cannot give up so easily. Yes. Success. Easy. My opinion is still the same like in a previous video. Extremely strong in X and Y direction and extremely weak along the Z axis. Maybe a solution would be some kind of core filament with the tulomer inside. To power big thanks to his work again. And Mr. S, please finish your video too, because I don't want to be the only bad guy here on the market. I mean, I'm sponsored by Polymaker, so maybe I'm cheating here. To all the others, well, thank you for watching this video and happy printing.